And we are back with more Sakura Dungeon. I still can't see anything. Don't worry. I think oh, it's loading. Not sure. Who are you people? There's a few friends that like to take a stroll through this forest. Once. And we don't like. Really Fun get fact. Hmm. I now have your music level 16. You're what? My I own. have Naomi now to level 16, and My I've only been playing the game so for, um, well, how long did you give me? Yeah. It only took, and we don't like, like panda girls who randomly me, like, three attack hours. travelers either. I lean over and whisper in Sherry's ear. I burped. Try to intimidate her. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Cherry likes the pandas. He's a panda. I can't do it. The panda just looks dejected. But I gathered power from that dungeon. Even the least mighty monsters there you can easily match the strongest hero. How was I defeated by you? Cherry looks like your heart is breaking. I didn't want to hurt the panda. You were she was robbing people. I have a question. Yeah. How the hell is the strap even staying on her chest right now? Just be glad it is. Yes, yes, Sherry. But well, it would be my concern. It'd be yours. Shut up. Hey, Jake. I just realized since you're not like Jake, since you're not playing through the game, uh, you're not recording your playthrough of the game. You could actually download the 18 plus patch. I didn't even figure yeah. out how to do that. When I tried to do that, the page was down. Oh, God. Like, literally, I couldn't access any of the files. Damn it. But if we but if we didn't deal with this panda, we wouldn't be able to walk through here. Neither would anyone else for that matter. Well, I guess it doesn't matter now. This is the end for me. What? I sound like a robot. Beep, boop, beep. And you sound like a robot. Because you're bop. lagging so beep. much. Well, that time you didn't. Aww. But... Where have you Where have you been storing the treasure you've stolen? Eh? Why do you want to know? Oh, for no particular reason. I'm just saying that we could come come to an agreement of sorts. You're robbing me now? Well, not really robbing. We just have some important objectives that we wish to accomplish. And we're in a dire need to for of treasure. You see. Think of it as a fine for your crimes. What if I don't want to give you the treasure? He seems to pause and think about it. Then he gets to spend some quality time in my prison. No, that seems to make her panic. You are a prison? But who are you? I'm no one particularly important. There's a monster who wants to get, just wants to get through it, go to this girl. And someone who just doesn't approve of thieving panda girls stirring up trouble. Okay, okay, I'll give you my treasure. Please don't put me in jail. Was it really necessary to intimidate her like this? Aren't you better than she is? Unless there are consequences for what she's done, she'll learn nothing. Isn't isn't it enough to beat her into submission? Not at all. Now then, you naughty panda. Where where would the treasure yours be panda. hidden? <laughs> where would the treasure yours be hidden? I, I will show you. Okay. A brief walk, and she shows us how her small ho a small horde of stash really undergrowth. Aww. Very well. Get out of here. I won't be so forgiving next time. That's all the prompts she needs. She just appears into the bamboo bar. And... What on earth? Where's the actual treasure? We've well, already found it. I don't know what you mean by that. Well then. That game's just fuzzy for me. I don't even know what the hell. Don't worry, I haven't done anything. Well, 
Was there any mention earlier that you wanted Mr. Dice? And yeah, I have a question. Yeah? How, how many of the statue pieces have you collected so far? What statue pieces? <laughs> oh, well. I just break in. I just um, break. I break into every room and collect everything. Fun so fact. I haven't counted them. Should I mention earlier that I could um, go visit her? Fun dark? fact. Hmm. In areas of each, well, there are statue pieces. First one I discovered was in the. It's where you first encountered the room with the um the walk through walls. Oh, where you that, first encounter yeah. those. I can't help but wonder what sort of And then the second piece that And then the second piece I found was when I had to smash a wall just to see is when I smashed a wall. Right now? Yes. You said you went through a bamboo forest, didn't you? How long how long do you think it would take to reach the human cities there? I took a stagecoach until I arrived at the bamboo forest, then I had to proceed on foot. If we're walking, there's no way we'll arrive in human cities in time and fashion. So sorry, Yomi, but it might be... We might have... But it might have to... What? It might have, what? But it might have to wait until we're... Oh, okay. It might have to wait until we're done with the dungeon first. Oh, nonsense. What would have been a magic can do wonders when it comes to traveling? What are you planning to do? Warp stones! Oh, sure. Come with me and I'll show you. Very look at me suspiciously. This better not be dangerous. Oh, trust me, it always is. Now then, once again, I chant the long for forgotten <laughs> chant long forgotten words in vogue in ancient magic. With with a flash, the spell is finished. Jerry looks around for a moment. I don't see any difference. Take a step. All right then. Jerry takes a step, and she's suddenly five meters away from me. By the gods! Then she stumbles for a moment, regaining her balance. What is that? I take a step, and a right beside her. Nearly jumps out of her skin in fright. You want me to explain yourself right now? No. This weird... This is a weirding spell? This is a weirding spell. One which can fundamentally alter laws of reality. In this case, I made it so the distance we travel with single steps not much further than it seems. Well, what sort of person could possibly dream of such a spell? It's best not to think about it. Either way, I have... <laughs> <laughs> Either way, we have... Do we have a fast means to travel now? I don't want to do this! This spell is terrifying! Here, take a step back and end up in the front of the tavern. I lose my bearings here, Fox. Grab her by the hand. Just follow me and it'll be okay. No, stop it! But it's too late. We're already moving ahead. An in incredible haze, we've already <laughs> arrived at the bed before. Taylor is legitimately terrified as we cross the distance prior to what we're used to. So fast, stop it! I don't want to be on this ride! Is so everyone going in stage for coach, though, don't you think? Stage going can be a moment ride, but nothing like this! Relax, we'll be there in a few minutes. Stop, I wanna stop! <laughs> oh, this is what their cities look like. <laughs> for a few minutes, we arrive. I like how there's just a random giant ass stone. Store I was gonna point just that out. <laughs> back there. <laughs> I mean, you're just, like, you're sitting there hey. her best to collect herself. <laughs> that. Let's not do that again. I'd rather walk all the way back. Or take a stagecoach. As you wish. Here you pick yourself up and brush yourself off. How do you even know spells like that? Uh, what is- Yes. I mean, you I mean, it's spells which help really. Later or not, there's a number of invisible laws which control how everything works. I'm sure that given the how you readily dismiss that ideas, you would uh, yeah, no more. You would be right. I'm a firm believer that things were are there are things we aren't meant to know. So at least we're here now. I look around me at the city. What a marvelous looking place. Humans certainly do come up with all kinds of interesting architecture. How is it different compared to, how is it different compared to the cities you saw Thunder I think the trend the trend for architecture then was used a substance called cement, I believe it was. They sculpted some magnificent things out of it. That is for certain. We still use cement. Hmm. It looks different than what it used to. 
It was less crude back then. Maybe it's due to different. Maybe it's due to a different taste. This city is a lot more practical than cities I've seen in the past. Anyway, where's your local gu guild? Oh, it's guild. Where's your local guild located? I want to see it for myself. I can show you the way. Let's just hope no one notices that you're a monster. I'm sure they won't. My guy's spell will work perfectly. I can only hope. If anyone asks about you, they say that you're an adventurer and we met along the road, okay? Last thing I need is for them to learn what's happened to me. I think it sounds as if you died or something. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, I'm back. I heard. I can tell by your laugh. In their eyes, I I I doubt being enslaved by a monster would be would be seen was seen much better than dead. Alright, I understand. Alright then. As we enter the guild, I hear Sherry read the words I. It's been so long since I've been here. Marvelous looking statues carved with also careful hands line the wall. Line the walls of the guild hall. Hall. I cannot help but look at them closely. Well, this is, this is the hall of legends. At the front of the guild. Is at the front of the guild so that we can be reminded of who fell before us. Humans are sentimental creatures, aren't they? It's then that a figure walks up to us. Hi! What the hell? That's so cute, that thing on her shoulder! But lady, that outfit is <laughs> not flattering. I mean, it can be, I can see why it is, but it doesn't leave anything up to the imagination. Keyword's being, I think. A tall, intimidating looking woman wielding a massive sword. What makes you curious is the animal resting on her shoulder. Where this person is, he isn't someone to be taken lightly. Here, is that really you? Oh, Maeve. I haven't heard from you in months, and now you turn up? What happened to that dungeon? You owe us an explanation. And who is this traveling with you? Slow down with the questions! The woman looks me up and down. This is Yomi. She's an adventurer I met along the roads. I haven't seen any adventurer wearing anything like that before. From what guild does she hail from? It's not really a career for me so much as a hobby. You risk your life for a hobby? Look, I'm here now. I want I wanted to know I wanted you to know that I'm fine. I'm doing well, it's a lot longer it takes a lot longer to clear than than I thought it would. Monsters so monsters there are a lot are stronger than we even were expecting. Yeah, so making good progress though, Yomi has been a big help. Maybe as Jerry called her, doesn't seem that convinced. You will do it by yourself? Well, I had some difficulty with it. I should immediately come back and request assistance. We have to rely on each other. Not the charity of strangers. I swear to share, you have learned nothing after being an adventurer for so long. It's just that it's just that this dungeon has some unique circumstances that I had to deal with. What unique circumstances? It's hard to explain. May look out a deep sigh. You're lucky that I haven't had any quests in a while. I'll come with you when you head back to the dungeon. It's not rest of the guild master. Oh, guild master is she? I think to share, looks so nervous if I'm under. Are you saying Yomi made it easy? Oh. Yeah, yeah, she helped. We should be able to do it together. But with my help, it should, that should make things even easier. You're making awfully suspicious, Jerry. Did something happen while you were there? No, nothing at all. Just give me some time and I'll have that dungeon fully cleared. Enough. I'm coming back with you. That's final. Excuse me while I go prepare. Maeve turns, us, Maeve turns back to us and walks off. Merc uh -huh. turns back to us and walks uh -huh. off. Well! How are they gonna do this? He walks off to some other section of the guild hall. Oh no, this is bad, um, really bad. She's gonna discover everything. What? She's screwed. <laughs> Relax, who is she anyway? She's our guild master, Maeve. One of the single greatest heroines to ever come out of this city. So isn't it a good thing she's coming with us? But she'll discover everything that happened there. Don't you see the mass, what a massive problem that is? Well, let's make her my suburban and problem solved. Don't you dare do that, okay? Is there any reason why I shouldn't? If she's as strong as she is, then she would be an excellent addition to our team. She's a guild master. She needs to be here. The fact that she's leaving at all means, means she thinks the dungeon will be done in a day. 
Maybe a servant. She won't be able to do her duties here. Don't do that, okay? Let's send that maid turns up again. Something the matter? You're making a lot of noise, Sherry. It's nothing. I see. Ready to head back? I want this. It's... Hmm. She is kind of intimidating, though. I can oh, see how she'd be she intimidating. Kind of with that giant. Sword. Yeah, I can see how she'd be intimidating. Yeah. I I want I want it to be done. I want to be done with this whole travesty quickly. Well, if you can find a coach, already done. Why don't we get going then? As you wish. Turp here was uncomfortable to say the least. Stage coaches are very slow, far too slow. May simply stared at me the entire time in complete silence. We're on foot now, making our way through the bamboo forest. Jerry has to remain tight-lipped yes. as well, nervously hoping that May doesn't notice anything unusual. So this is a rem this is this I think is a rem this I think I remember on the w the way through here. Is that so? Yes, yeah, just right through here. Maybe Maybe chooses to stay back with Sherry, stay at the back with Sherry in the front and myself in the middle. As we continue to wander through the forest, I feel a hand rest on my shoulder. Sherry keeps walking forward, oblivious to what's happening behind us. As soon as she's out of sight, May speaks to me. Interesting tale you have there. Not exactly something I would expect an adventurer to have. Oh, you've been able to see through, so you're able to see through my skies? Impressive for a human. Enough of that, monster. What have you done with Sherry? We have mutual interest in that dungeon, you sent her to. So we decided to work together. I was sure I would willingly work with the monster. It, it had to be against her will. She has one hand on the hilt of my sword. So tell me, monster. Is there a good reason why I shouldn't slice you into two pieces right now? Well, you could fight me if you desire, but tell me, what do you think would happen if you lose? I won't lose. Not to likes you. That's just the same flavor busting that every, every hero seems to spout. What would you do if that confidence of yours was shaken? Robert Jiro doesn't give up if one little thing goes wrong. Now, enough of this pointless exchange. Face me. I don't think this is gonna go well for No, her, I doubt it. Honestly. Why doesn't Cherry notice? <laughs> oh. What? That was easier than I thought. Lost already? No, it was easier than I thought. I already got her down to 8 HP. And, and Yomi hasn't been hit once. Oh. Should I capture? Oh. Yeah, why not? Aw, capture failed. <laughs> oh well. And just stares back at me. Spider energy, she can stand tall. And not bad, not bad at all. You're just blistering. I can tell that you don't have enough strength to keep fighting. Nonsense, I make a lot of someone knee. Stop it, if you keep going, you're going to permanently injure yourself. I find it funny that Yomi didn't get hit once that whole fight. <laughs> I can't, I can't <laughs> think it's like, so- oh, want to hit me? <laughs> yeah, she dodged every single time. Doesn't matter to me. I back down from a fight. Boop. Maeve, what are you doing? Harry wanders back and you're feeling what? Cherry, this monster was too strong for me. I'm sorry. You knew the entire time? Yes, I didn't want to raise the alarm right there. That's how I showed that I was the only person who could see it. So I followed you out here to see what was going on. Looks like I failed you. It's not like that, Maeve. I'm actually working with you and made it clear that dungeon. Look, long story. Look, it's a long story, but I can no feeling when we get back to the end. I look down at the result. There's nothing more I can do. What other choice do I have? Alright then. And basically, that's what happened. I still don't trust this fox, however. How do we know that... How do we know that you don't have a... You don't have ulterior motives? I don't think she cares enough about the human cities to consider destroying them. It's not that I don't care about them. It's because I care... It's because I care about them that I don't want to destroy them. Humans are simply too interesting. Besides, if you really want, if you really want, if I really wanted to destroy you all, I would have gone, I would, would I would have gone through every floor of my dungeon to defeat entire army of monsters. Recovering from such an assault would take a very long time. You make fair points. But I don't think I will trust you. Sherry, I know that, Sherry, I know that you can get stronger than an RDM. I just didn't have a reason to do so until now. So I'm going to be staying here. We'll clear this dungeon together. Oh, that's why it failed, because she has to. But what about your duty as a guild? I already told my scribe oh, to take. Wait, wait, 
<laughs> paperwork. I can be gone for months. Well, I'd be honored to have a legendary hero and help us. It would help be nice to catch up. And it's settled. Although working with a fox makes my skin crawl, I will do it for you, Sherry. Probably burning a hole through me with her glare. If for a single moment it looks like you aren't being honest about your motives, I vow to cut you down. As you wish. I look forward to working with you. Wish I could say the same thing. Maybe yes. drink your party. Yes. Yes. Cut me down as you I got an achievement. Really touch me, not. See what happens now that you just join your party. Can you walk around town? Hang on. Uh. Jesus. I don't need two magic users. Well, it's always nice to have one on hand. Correction, yeah, but I don't need. But, no, I don't need two. So I'm I'm keeping Sylvie because I enjoy her relationship with Sherry. Well, I say three because there's Yomi and she's a magic user. Yomi's required though. I feel. Yomi's kind of an important I know, but character. still, she's a magic user. I mean, I can get rid of Yomi, but I feel that she's an important character. You'll gain experience anyways. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I can talk to Maeve. Let's do that. After the rough start, I have Maeve. I think it's good to talk to her. If she's Sherry's guild master, then we then we best get along. Wow, Yomi, you're so mature. Hello, oh, Maeve. What do you want, monster? I just wanted to speak with you. About what? She obviously has no patience for me at all. I just wanted to be sure. I wanted to. What? I wanted to sure. I think it's supposed to say insure, but it just says sure. I wanted to share that you're settling in. Although we're monsters, I think you'd find we're hospital. That's what's. Whatever. That's what's hell. I have no partake in any of your hospitality. For all I know, you could poison me. Are all adventures paranoid? You do not get where I am without being a little bit of paranoid. Politics with, with, between girls can be very messy. So I have learned to trust slowly. We're already. And we already know why I would. I would have trust issues with you. Was it really necessary to cast that spell on Jerry? At the time, yes. I needed the servant I could rely on. She has proven to be a very reliable partner as well. I understand that you must be fairly protective of her. I practically raised her myself, Fox. She was just a peasant girl from some far farmlands that no one ever visited before she came. Her parents sent her to my guild to become a knight. Oh, so you're also her mentor. That's right, I taught her how to use the blade. So, you better not disrespect her any further than you have. Believe me, I don't disrespect her in the slightest. She's trained hard and is a skilled warrior. You must be talented yourself to have her produce such a fine apprentice. Spare me your flattery. I'm only here because Sherry needs help. Do not think I have any intention to be your friend, Fox. Well, you're going to be stuck with me like Sherry is. Don't you think it's better to get along? I don't need to get along with you. All I need is to cut down monsters. I swear, I can see... I swear I can see... I can see who Sherry... I swear I can see who Sherry got her attitude from now. Even if you are... Even if you are a legendary hero, you should... You should not let that get to your head. Perhaps you... Perhaps you what... To... Perhaps what you need is a mud massage. A mud massage? Oh, I can see why you always say that. Oh, God, here because we go. she just got her ass kicked. <laughs> I mean, she kind of did. I mean, she kind of did. I didn't take any damage from that fight. Yeah, so massage the massage right. by resident of mud monsters. Very luxurious, I assure you. Maeve actually looks like she's mussing, using. I don't know which. It does sound interesting, actually. Only again, it could be an attempt to trap me. If I wanted to hurt you, I would have finished you off in the bamboo forest. Yeah, sounds about right. I mean, no harm, Maeve. She just shakes her head. I'll believe you in my own time, Fox. Let me see. Let me see what you can give give I mean, the, this mud massage. I did strike first. I wanted to see the mud massage. Well. Oh well. What happened to try to talk to Isabel? Anything new happen? Oh, there we go. <laughs> so, are you feeling up to a challenge? What kind of challenge are humble mastered? Oh. I've sent her to plant fires, Jerry. Do you think you can make something out of this? She looks at them closely. I might have to get a bit creative with this. Who's it for, by the way? I gave her a knowing smile. I thought so. Wait, who are you making this album for? Come with me for a moment, Jerry. 
Oh god. Uh -oh. No! I'm too late. Oh god, I already the yarn. Come on, it'll be fun. I need to take some measurements. Oh, poor Sherry. <laughs> Why Sherry? Oh. Well then. I kind of was expecting on something a little bit more revealing. Oh yeah, I was too. Was about is use the plant virus and make quite a to quite a dramatic effect. Don't you love it? I made a bikini from it. Oh, Sherry hates bikinis. I think Sherry's not one who enjoys bikinis. She doesn't even not just enjoy. She doesn't understand them. It took a bit of work, but I think it worked really well. I guess flower in her too to go with her ribbon. That's so cute. It honestly isn't as bad as I was expecting. Yay, she likes it. <laughs> right. uh, <it's> no She's <laughs> got Yomi's response. Oh, uh, it's so fun if you aren't embarrassed. She's probably gotten used to it by now, honestly. I mean, I expect that. Don't you dare make fun of me! <laughs> <laughs> So now I have four main party members, it seems. Yeah. Why not have Maeve up front as well? Yeah. Yomi is, like, in the back just because if Yomi dies, game over. Yeah. Let me get a few wording stone. I never, every time I get a wording stone, I never keep those, I sell them immediately. Nope, can't walk around town anymore. Suppress all the counters. Well, they Jeez, Maeve took a lot of damage. What's her strength? 
it might have something to do with it, since she's a melee attacker. Maybe it's at five strength. How much does Sari have? Sari's at the same. But maybe, obviously, because she's more experienced, does more damage. Right. I'm applying to a job at Big Five. I applied to a job today. I turned in an application to one, and I'm turning in, and I'm doing an online application for like five now.
Did you have that scrap outfit yet? That maid no. scrap? You should probably go do that. I'm trying, but it's timed, so. Just stay to the right side. I am, but. I got an application for Big Five, and I turned it in the application for a Regency today as well. Okay. So you've been trying to go on to Walmart and reapply that one? I was going to do that after I do Big Five, so I can yeah, do that one as well. I think we're going to stop here, because I'm dead a lot in this video, surprisingly. I was thinking about ending it off earlier, dead, and why I did. But, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, Jake's not here, because he's salting his yard, or driveway, rather. But, yeah, see you guys next time. I'm going to save, and I'm going to do a bye-bye.